All right, so when you have ground bees, uh, which are digger bees, um, they're practically impossible to kill. This poison is not going to kill them. Any other poison you put down is not going to kill them. Um, the boric acid is not going to kill them. The... Um, uh, what's the stuff? Di diatomaceous earth is not going to kill them. Um, and when I'm talking about ground bees and digger bees, these are a bee that live by themselves. They're a solitary bee. Every single bee is going to have its own hole. Understand that. If you have a bee where you see multiple bees going into a hole, that is not a ground bee. That is not a digger bee. That is not what I'm talking about. Move along, bro. Digger bees are solitary. They all live in their own hole. Unless they're mating, then the male and the female will go into the same hole. Which you will never notice the difference because they move so fast. You will never see that happen. Um, they're not an aggressive bee. Don't listen to anybody that says if you stand in the middle of them, they're going to sting you. If you get stung, that was not a digger bee. Those These bees are very docile. Whatever, whatever. And, you know, everybody's like, don't kill them, don't kill them. They're pollinators, they're pollinators. But you know what? They're a major, major pest. If you do not kill them and get them out of your yard, they will expand exponentially. Exponentially. Just figure it out yourself. It's something you're not going to want to figure out yourself. You go out there and, you know, go out there, hug a couple trees and embrace your bees. Your yard is going to be infested and you're not going to get rid of them. Because the only way to get rid of these bees is to kill them one at a time. One at a time. That is the only way to kill these bees. <clears throat> and, you know, people say, oh, you could throw hose and water. Yep, you can do that. You know what happens? The bees move 10 feet over. They don't go anywhere. And then next year, they smell the pheromones of where they were, where they were nesting last year, and they're back in your yard. You have to just kill them. There's no other option. This is what I do. I just happen to have this one sitting here. But you can go to Walmart and get their bug brand. Um, it's going to be like five bucks. It's going to have one of these. Uh, this is an electric. Don't, don't bother with electric. You're just going to waste your time. Just go to Walmart, get their one gallon of, of a uh, bug killer. Um, buy their brand of dish liquid like this, get home, dump out their bug killer because it's completely useless against ground bees. Um, if you got something like this size, I put in about... Yeah, about that much liquid into here then fill it with water go outside and you're going to go outside you're going to want to do this at around around dusk well a couple hours before dusk i guess when the bees are starting to come back into their holes um you'll see in the video i'm gonna i'm gonna zoom into the hole and you'll see the bee looking up out of the hole that's the female the female is looking up at the hole, waiting for a male to fly by so she can mate. They sit at the top of the hole. They sit at the top of the hole and you spray them right in the face. The soap kills them so fast, so fast. You'll see one just come up out of the hole and it's dead by the time it gets out of the hole. The other ones where you see me spray them in their face, they just died in the hole. They're not coming out of that hole. Um... But if you get them, when they go back into the hole, you just got to go up to every single hole and just fill it. Fill it with soapy water. Just keep spraying and spraying until it comes up out of the hole. Spray some more, spray some more. And you could wait, you know, maybe a minute or whatever, whatever your patience is. And you might see one come up out of the hole, you know, running for its life. And you just stomp on it. And that's the only thing with these bees uh, just stomping on it's not going to kill it because they're so big. You got to you got to basically get this little technique going, a roll technique. You put your foot on it and you roll forward, you roll back, and you could feel its body snap under your foot. If you don't do that, it tends not to kill them. Even though the soapy water will kill them, um, it kills them so fast. It kills all insects so fast. It's a, it's crazy how fast the soapy water kills insects. 
um, because it makes them suffocate to death. Um, So, yeah, I'll I'll sew some holes where you're spraying it. And again, their holes are going to be the size of my pinky. Except when they first breed, when they first come out, I think in uh, May, June, the holes are going to be smaller. You're not going to notice it. And then when they get bigger, their holes are going to be the size of my pinky. And they'll be everywhere. And you'll see in one one video, I'm standing there. And if you look closer, you see them. The males just swarming, swarming, swarming. And they're like, they're like, um, they're like Apache uh, helicopters. They're just flying, 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 flying. And you can stand there all day spraying this stuff while they're flying by. You're not going to hit them. They're moving so fast. And no, they're not going to sting you. You just stand in the middle of them. And they're flying so fast. They bump into your legs and... You know, all this stuff. They're just swarming on top, trying to find the females. They find where they, they could smell the pheromones, and and um, that's where the males will start flying around and trying to find a female. They all they all fight each other for the airspace. Um, you could do whatever you want. You know, I've, I've I've wasted so many years trying to kill these things. I've went out there when they were swarming like that. You know, with the with the lighter and the and the the carb cleaner, the hairspray. <sighs> you don't even you don't hit them. Never hit them. Not many chance. Um, you could don't don't even bother burying the holes because they just dig up. If you disturb their hole, they just dig another hole. So the the best way to do it, I guess you can go out there. I what I do is I go out there um, when they're coming back with their pollen. You'll see them. They they fly a little slower with the pollen on pollen on them, and you can knock them out of the air. And then you just spray them down a little more, and then you give them the little you know little roll with the foot. And snap their bodies in half, and and you could go out at night, like I said, you know, at, at dusk or whatever. When, after they come back, they go back down in their hole, and you just fill their holes up with soapy water, and then you just cover up the hole with your foot, just stomp it down and cover it up. And you'll see in the morning if if there's no new hole there, that thing is dead. But again, you only can kill them one at a time, one at a time. So if you have a thousand of them, it's going to take a minute. I'll tell you what. Uh, before I could figure it out, before I figured out this soapy water stuff, I used to go nuts. Now, you know, they, they keep coming back, but they're, they're, they're getting less and less now that I figured out the soapy water stuff. So I get out there immediately and get rid of them and kill them all. Oh, they're so annoying. But if you ignore them, if you have 100, you ignore them, they increase exponentially. You're going to have 500 in a month. It's it's insane. Um, I'm going to try this other insecticide, but I doubt it's going to work. It says it, it'll get them. you got to put it down a certain time in a month. But the problem is, is they live, they dig down um, uh, more than six inches. So you put insecticide down, it's going to have to seep all the way down there. And it's probably not going to kill their eggs anyway. So they're going to hatch anyway. That's the problem with all this stuff. I think they're down deeper than six inches. So, yeah, whatever. The insecticides are not going to kill them. Um, the only thing that kills them is soapy water. That's about it. I've tried um, the foaming bee spray. You spray the foaming bee spray on them. They just climb through it and they, they fly, fly away and knock the foam off their legs and their wings. It doesn't kill them. I've done the boric acid and, and, and um, um, diatomaceous earth. I've sprayed it on them while all the males are flying all over the place. They get it on them. They don't care. They keep going. What happens is they go they go down into their hole, and as they're walking down their hole, it knocks all the diatomaceous earth off them from the dirt. Um, so the best you can do is uh, soap water. This. Dish liquid. The Walmart cheapo stuff. You're going to waste a ton of money if you just go for insecticides after insecticides. You're not going to kill digger bees that live one hole at a time. When you just buy, you know, like $10 worth of, um, that's going to be a whole bunch of these bottles of the Walmart brand. Dish liquid and legwork. It's going to take a lot of time to kill the damn things. One at a time. One at a time, buddy. Eventually, if you're out there a lot, eventually they fly very, very fast. But when they when they start 
uh, start uh, coming down to find their hole, that's when they get a little slower, and then you can knock them out of air with a spray. You can, you can, you know, you get, you eventually get some good aim, and you can knock them down out of the air and just hit them again, and then stomp on them. Well, no, do the roll, roll, stomping on them, don't kill them. Um, so yeah, I'll show you a couple of videos. Come on, you can't be dead that fast. Bro. Damn it, it's fucking dead already. Come on, climb out, motherfucker. Hey, finally, we had a buddy come out. Are you gonna make it, bro? Aw, you want me to clean the dirt off of you? Whoa, 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 wake up, bro. Wake up, wake up. Aw, darn. Face time, bro.